12 minutes to 7. More than 150,000 homes could be built for rent now rather than for sale because there aren't enough of them. Yes, Steph's got more details. Morning again. Morning to you both. Yeah, this is one of those topics that gets everyone riled about what's going on with the housing market, whether you're trying to buy a house or rent. Um, morning, everyone. Yeah, if you look at how the market has changed, a decade ago, about 70% of households were owner-occupied. But... That number has been falling and it's now about two thirds and that means more homes are needed for rent. Now, build to rent is an idea that's been supported by the government. So instead of a large development being built, then sold off individually to owner occupiers or to various people for buy to let, the developer keeps hold of all of the properties to rent out itself. Now, this morning, a report from the law firm Adelshaw Goddard and the British Property Federation says more than £30 billion could be invested in the build to rent sector over the next five years. Well, to explain more about it, Catherine Fernhead is from, uh, she's a partner at the law firm, Adelshaw Goddard. Good morning to you, Good Catherine. Morning. So just explain, first of all, what is the difference between buy to let and buy to rent? Well, buy to rent is blocks of accommodation um, constructed solely for the purpose of renting and owned by large institutions, pension funds. So you're talking about accommodation that's more like 800,000 units. Time. So it's basically a much bigger scheme than individual people yes. buying a house, which then they rent out to people. Yes. And why do you think we need this? Well, the, at the moment, the, the market, as you said, the, the rent sector has doubled since 2000. There is a huge demand for people who can't actually either afford to go on the housing market or for lifestyle cho choices choose to rent rather than to actually buy. And build to rent are, are blocks designed solely for renting. So the, the schemes that are coming through have far more facilities and circulation space and sort of um, tennis courts on roofs, some of them have. So really, it's just a whole new way of living rather than buying your own home. And what difference do you think it would make to have this scheme? Well, with 30 billion of, of new private investment in, it can, it can provide more homes quicker to help the housing deficit at the moment. So um, it can actually alleviate and achieve some of the government's objectives um, by using funding, which has previously been unavailable. So whenever I talk about um, the idea of renting or buy to let, people get annoyed about the fact that this could push up house prices generally. If you've got big investors who are buying properties to rent, then it would mean that lots of first-time buyers might not be able to get on the housing ladder because it will push up prices generally across the market. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think it's different from buy to let where you've got individuals who have the capital to buy more than one property and take it away from people who would otherwise buy. Actually, these are being consented solely for the purpose of renting. So they're not, a, they're not buildings that would have been built for other people to buy. They are solely there for the purpose of renting. Do you think there's much appetite out there for investors to, to be part of the scheme? Well, the report reveals that there is £30 billion, pound, there were figures by Savills, um, from going around different institutions and, and asking them about how much they would put into this. Um, so there is, uh, and what the report reveals from speaking to different stakeholders, developers, operators, investors, is that there is huge appetite to access the residential market, and to date that's not been possible. So what needs to happen to make this a reality then, do you think? Well, actually, it's, it's, it's a reality already. There are blocks being developed or accommodation being developed in London, Manchester and Leeds are the key areas at the moment. Um, but it can be ramped up with the, the 30 billion investment that, that people have spoken of. And really, I guess there are, are a couple. Um, firstly, local authorities. There is a, an understanding that needs to be developed there more so about the benefits. So from a planning perspective um, and how those are consented, but also through land value because, or through land, local authorities have land. If they can um, invest in the PRS or the private rented sector model, um, they can actually gain income and income for council taxpayers and, and which can benefit um, the councils going forward. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank Anyone you. who's got any thoughts on that, do get in touch because I know it's a topic people like to talk about. I'm sure, Steph. Thank you.